Hey everybody, okay, welcome to part B, the commentary. Look on the screen. Look on the screen. Start with that, I gotta ask ya. They are so mean. Dusty's trying to get at ya. Look on the screen. Look on the screen. Look at Eric. If we're gonna be honest about this, he got what he gave. So let's understand the background history here. His mother said, I think he was thriving. He had a job. Ooh, he had a job. In the BC black community, these men can do the minimal. He can, they can literally just take the garbage out where they live and get a pat on the back. A black woman will be paying all the bills, taking care of him and the kids. Oh, well, what's she supposed to do? He got a job. He was thriving. He's trying to be the best person he can be. By robbing? By robbing. So let's understand this. Based on what they're saying, the background history, assaulted a family member. Hmm. Assaulted a family member. Served time. There was a robbery. He was there, and the 62-year-old owner died. He didn't kill him. Well, if you're with the people that do and help plan it, uh, you're just as complicit. So maybe one of his boys shot and killed the owner. We don't know. That I don't know, rather. Well, the 62-year-old business owner is dead. And he was there. That makes me think, okay, so he maybe he wasn't alone in the in the activity that resulted in it. So we got the robbery, a family member being assaulted, and then his living common law wife, baby mama got got too. She's been attacked, allegedly, by, by Eric, who was thriving. Trying to be the best person he can be. Was it overkill? Yes, I would say it's overkill, you know. But I'm going to tell you, if that was me in that restaurant or that taquera, if that was me in that facility having my dinner and that food come grabbing my purse and my belongings, man, I pat the man on the back. This young man got what he gave. I mean, seriously, what? Th this is crazy. He they're giving you a chance. Just made bun. They should have left him up in there. Left his, left his dust bucket butt up in there and he'd be alive. When you go to prison, quote, they, it breaks you. But you're doing everything you can to get back in there. The, the young man, the dust bucket, um, and that's how I label him, based on his actions, he got what he gave. You've been associated with and found guilty where a man, a 62-year-old business owner was robbed and then died. And you go and do it again. With a plastic gun. The fact that the gun was plastic don't mean a darn thing. It don't mean Jack. He shouldn't have pulled it. They didn't know that. He didn't announce, hey guys, my gun is plastic. No, plastic gun. He went in there with the threat. To All he, all people wouldn't know is it's a gun. And he knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. He had to have. See, m m mothers don't want to face it. He was thriving. What, at Robin? Well, it was an epic fail because he, he's gone. He got what he gave. He has obviously robbed the other person or was complicit in it. That 62-year-old that was robbed and, and died, I mean, he was there. What well, that mean? He must have been in on it. He got what he gave. See, he robbed that family. He robbed that man of his life. He robbed that family of their loved one. Assaulted a family member. Oh, really? I bet it was highly irrational. Assaulted a family member. Robbed them with their peace of mind. Got to call the police. 
and the live-in girlfriend. But he was thriving. I don't know what her definition of thriving is, but uh, me, Ma, this ain't it. See, these young ones, they know, especially, the, they, they know that they can tell the mama anything. He robbed that 62-year-old man that died, him of his life. The man maybe could have lived to be 75, 85. He took that away from him. He robbed a family member and the friends of the loved one of that, that family. He robbed them of time with that man. And it amazes me how they can always, I don't know how, <clears throat> they can always find a woman, a girlfriend. That part amazes me. The bar is set pretty low, huh? And I, so she wants to know maybe why I had to shoot him that many times. Lady. And I cannot honestly say sorry for your loss because this man to me is just a terror. So in other words, and, and see, here's the deal. People are tired and fed up. You you can call whatever you want to. You need somebody like that in, in that pick, old pickup truck. If not, it's not going to slow things down, but maybe somebody will think. You're not the only one with a gun, son. In this case, he had a real one. Just start in a fool of shit and do the same. Just start walking into a restaurant and just start robbing everybody. I guess it beats one on one, you see. Get you a quick come up. He got what he gave. He robbed those people, disturbed their peace. He got what he gave. And he robbed himself. I'm starting to tell you, that old man is not the reason he's dead. No, he's not. This man on the screen, Eric, is dead because of the decision that he made. Had it not, bef had it not been for him being stupid and deciding to go in there and rob that place, more than likely he would still breathe. Be breathing, be lying. But he made the decision to get that plastic gun and go in there and rob those people. Whether it was fake or not, nobody got time to figure it out. He made that decision. If he had not done this, he and that man in the pickup truck probably would never met. He's the reason that he's dead. As far as I'm concerned, he is a contributor of his own death, had not made that bad decision. And I don't care what he told his mama. They'll tell him mama anything they want to hear because they know she'll be ten toes down for him every day of the week, twice on Sunday. So dumb. So this here, he got what he gave. He robbed other people of, of um, their security, peace of mind. He robbed, he's uh, um, a contributor that sits to a man that, that's dead. You robbed him of his life, even though he was there. Uh, yeah, I know what that means. And he's such a bad robber, he robbed himself of his own life. He robbed himself of his own life. What if he had tried to get a second job or was busy trying to do a YouTube channel, what it's like to be a loser like me? Do a YouTube channel called Don't Make the Mistakes I Made. Go wash cars. Do something. I want some quick money. And this job wasn't paying enough. And what do you expect? A seat on the board? Because you got a GED or a high school diploma? He was thriving. Thriving. I'll say he was thriving, in my opinion, at being a terror to the community. Family members attacked, assaulted. A family member, living girlfriend. And maybe this would be a lesson for her not to take in what I perceive as a thug, as a dust bucket. But I know the bar is set so low. At least she got a man. 
At least she had a man. So this here, he got what he gave. And the mother needs to face it. Maybe that was his job. That was his side job. Oh, I like to go and rob. He got what he gave. He robbed others. And what's that say? Oh, he died doing what he loved. It, I, it makes me wonder, is it what you love to do? Obviously, you get some kind of enjoyment from it. He died doing what he loved. So this here, hashtag a robbery gone wrong. And they can say goodbye to a typical Tyrone. This man is a terror to the community. And if he does that, stop and think. Oh, just think. Look at, they don't think, they just do. When, you, when they go to prison and you break you. But you doing everything you can to get back in there. Again, it must be something that you like. Or you are just dumb. But see, this is what happens when you don't build communities. Mm-hmm. This is what happens. The mother doesn't realize what if someone like him had done that to her and she wouldn't be her own, one of her family members. You'd be crying. But people only see what they want to see. I, that's what I believe. They see what they want to see. It's not their loved one. The 62-year-old man that's dead, I'm sure, had a family. Someone they cared about him. And now it's off the family member, baby mama. When was he going to stop? And now this now, don't forget. So the 62-year-old man is dead in a robbery that he was, quote, there. Assault a family member. He was already out on bond. Then he had also, uh, I guess, put the hands on them paws and some, maybe some little feet too, some less bucket boots, I don't know. But he's also attacked, allegedly, the baby mama. So that's three things. And then we got this right here. And then he was on his robbery, on his robbery duty. 62 year old dead, family members assaulted, baby mama, living girl, uh, well, I can't say baby mama, living girlfriend assaulted. And now we have this robbery of this restaurant, of the other patrons. he been busy, huh? He, but, but he was thriving. When was it going to stop? What was next? He was thriving. It stopped now. Mm hmm. Again, this young man got what he gave. And like you robbed others, you want to use your gun? What's that saying? You live by the sword, die by the sword. So he lived by the robbery game, pulling the gun, and that's how you died. As they say, maybe he was doing what he loved. I can't, I don't have any sympathy because it's the decision that he made. Anyway, let me know what you all think. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Be alert, be aware. It's to the point now, I don't even know, even if you're going into a restaurant like this here, it might be best, ladies, if, you know, with handbags and things, if you can, maybe leave your bag in the trunk before you go. And, and it, 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 really, ladies and gentlemen, Maybe just have on you um, your ID and the one debit card you're going to use. Don't bring all your debit cards and credit cards with you in case something like this happens. Because they can go charge up a storm. You sitting up here, you got seven credit cards in your purse. Or man, you got you got that in your wallet with your family and debit cards. They go crazy. So maybe it was, you know, it's going to get worse. More layoffs are happening. More dust buckets are being born. And more are being released. And that makes it less safe out in the streets. Anyway, simply said here on YouTube, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Be alert, be aware. Why? It's two and the T dots out there. And you know what that means? That dusty over there. And I'm out.